Hello, my name's Oren Myers. Over the past 10 years, I've been making classical guitars here on a farm in Oxfordshire. Over the next few minutes, you will see some of the techniques involved in making a classical guitar. Making a guitar starts with the selection of the wood. Choosing the right quality of wood that's been cut in the right way makes a big difference to the sound. The thickness of the back is very important acoustically. Here I'm bending the bindings which goes around the, the edge of the guitar. A lot of the skill of guitar making is in knowing how thick to make the sides, the back and the front part. The sides are joined to the soundboard by these small triangular wooden blocks called tentalones. And they're glued in place using rabbit skin glue. In the same way as the tentalones, provide a connection between the sides and the back. This is a lining which is glued to the side and provides a gluing surface for the back. This is probably the most exciting part of the making process when all the components which I've been working on separately come together. The back of the guitar is, is very thin, only around two and a half millimeters, and so it needs supporting by bars, which are glued in place.
When clamping the back, it's important to have clamping pressure all the way around. And these clamps are actually the first thing that I made as a guitar maker. French polishing is the last thing that you do in the process of making the guitar. Polish is made of shellac, which is dissolved in alcohol, and as it's rubbed over the, over the wood, the alcohol evaporates, leaving a nice evaporation trail, and with thousands of layers, you build up a nice, warm finish. The soundboard is the most important part of the guitar. It's where a maker puts his individuality and his personality into the instrument and distinguishes himself from every other guitar maker, even people using the same design. <laughs>